Pixie Bricks lets you create custom browser mods like this. Let's say we're Drizzly and we'd like to recommend support resources to customer service reps. We want to be able to highlight a question and search our knowledge base for an answer and see relevant results. Maybe a link that we can share or specific answers that we can copy and paste. You can build a mod like this in minutes and though we're demonstrating it in Zendesk, Pixiebricks deploys as a browser extension and works on any web page. We'll rebuild this mod from scratch in five minutes. Start by opening the page editor, which lives in the Chrome DevTools. Every mod starts with a starter brick, so let's go ahead and use the context menu. I'll give this mod a name like AI Recommendation Demo and give it a similar title. You can call it whatever you'd like. We'll also adjust the context to make sure that this shows when text is selected. And we'll configure it to work on any page. Now, the next brick will fetch our support resources, so we can recommend one based on any questions that we highlight. So to keep it simple, we've dumped all these in a Google spreadsheet, but you can fetch them from any data store. Let's add the Google Sheet brick and configure it. All we need to do is select our Google account integration, choose the Google Sheet, and then the tab, and we'll need to set our query. And now when I click the context menu, Pixiebricks fetches our support articles. You can see all of this here in the data panel. All of the, the data has been returned from the spreadsheet. So to recommend an article, we'll pass the customer question article titles to an AI service. First, let's parse the article titles. So we'll write a JQ filter to do this. So I'm going to add the JQ brick and you'll see what I'm adding in here is my data to reference exactly where I found that. I'm renaming the output so I can read it a bit more clearly. And I'm passing in this filter that's just going to return the articles. So you can see what we get here when I run it. Notice it's taking the Google sheet and just returning the, those titles. So now we can choose an AI service and write our prompt. I'm gonna choose ChatGPT, I'm gonna select my integration, and I'm going to set my messages. So the first one is gonna be system, and we'll tell ChatGPT, you are a helpful AI knowledge base article recommender. And here are the titles of knowledge base articles. And this is where I'm going to grab the data. I'm gonna grab these titles here and I'm going to join them together so that ChatGPT can read that a bit more nicely. And now I'm just going to say, provide just the most relevant article title to the customer support ticket and no other text. Important to clarify that. And now I will add one more item with the user and this is where I'm just gonna pass the text that's been selected. Put it right in there, yep, cool. And let's try it out. So I'm gonna select a question, run my mod, and you can see when we open up the output over here that ChatGPT has recommended a very relevant article. So next we need to write a lookup that returns all of the data in the table related to the recommended article. So we'll add another uh, JQ filter brick here. I'm gonna rename the output to something more readable. I'm gonna pass it that same array of data from the Google Sheet. And then I'm gonna put in this filter that's basically going to return the, the question that ChatGPT had selected as the most relevant one. And now we wanna display this. So I'm gonna add the display temporary information brick and I'm going to give it some sort of title. This is what's gonna appear at the tab name. I'll call it Copilot. And notice this render document brick that came within it. And this is how we can configure and style this panel. So I'm gonna give the title a simple message here. I can add emojis. I can change the size of it. I can also click this other text to change different colors. And inside of this text here, I'm gonna add a sort of simple message here that's just kind of some boilerplate stuff we use. And then I'm gonna actually reference the link to the article, the question, um, give folks a link to it. So I'm putting this in Markdown so that people, it will return the clickable link. I'm gonna show the answer and then have some, some sample text at the end there. All right, and now I'm gonna add a button. Uh, this is gonna let me copy our templated response to the clipboard. I'm just gonna rename it something here. Um, Lay the label, copy to clipboard, so it's clear what it's doing. I'll go ahead and make it full width. 
And now I'm going to add the copy to clipboard brick. And I'll paste the same content in here that we showed in the display temporary info. I don't really want it to include that link there maybe, so, uh, or at least not wrap it in text like that. Just plain text the link there, so I'll do it like this. And now we'll go ahead and save it, and let's try it again. Nice, and we can now copy our message into the article right into Zendesk or anywhere else we want to use this. So let's try our mod on another side because support reps often interact with customers in many different channels like social media, forums, email, and other places. So let's head over here to Trustpilot and let's go ahead and highlight an issue. Try it out over here. We'll highlight this question, run our recommender, and voila, Pixie Bricks returns the most relevant resource in the sidebar. So this is super easy, and it's just one example of what you can rapidly create with Pixie Bricks, but the opportunities are endless. Head over to our marketplace for more inspiration and ideas, and you'll be ready to hit the ground running with everything you've got here. Thanks for watching.